Yeah, hi everyone and welcome to my latest tutorial. This one's actually got no soldering involved. I'm gonna this is basically a potting sort of tutorial. I'm gonna show you how you can pot around your sort of through hole joints or any components that you sort of need to protect, maybe waterproof them or protect them. They may be high voltage joints, you just don't want to get your fingers near them. So what we yeah, what we're gonna do in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can form a lovely wall right around the outside so about a millimetre away from all the joints using wax sheets that I cut, cut up into strips and I sort of layer them up to get the sort of desired height so whatever your joint is you can build sort of your wall up around them to sort of go about a millimetre or two above the joint so you know you've got no danger of uh, any of the legs sort of poking through it's a great method the wax is sort of doesn't tend to stick to any compound so it's easily removable afterwards so yeah, what I do, I sort of move on to showing you how I cut the sheets up that I use um, into strips, and then we start sort of forming the wall sort of around uh, around these six joints. So you hopefully you'll find the video useful. Like I said, it's a great method; it works every time. And so any protection you need in the future for anything on your boards, uh, this is a good method to use. So what we do then, we move on to cutting the sheets up, and uh, yeah, I'll show you how that one goes. Come on to cutting up the wax sheets. These sheets are about just over a millimeter sort of in thickness and they come in large sort of uh, sizes I've just got an off cut of a, a sheet that I've been using recently so for this one I'm going to use about two I'm going to try and get away with two uh, two layers and I reckon a couple of strips of this will probably be enough so yeah this stuff's easily available on the internet I normally try and get about a three millimeter width to, to me strips and uh, you know if you've got sort of components around the edge you can always sort of uh, make this a little bit sort of narrower so yeah it takes about four or five cuts and you'll get through it straight away it's pretty easy to get through as it's really soft it's got a paper backing underneath and the bottom of the wax has actually got an adhesive uh, sort of side to it so that's what sticks to the board that's why it tends to never move when you're doing your your potting which it makes it a really good substance as you can see i've got through that really easy just do one more try and do sort of same sort of width and you should get a nice neat finish so again about four or five gentle cuts and it goes straight through it so it's a great material it ne never leaks if it's sort of fitted right because it's got this sort of adhesive backing and so i've used it a lot over the years and uh, always had a really good result and those sort of compounds tend to stick to it and that's what makes it really good substance so i'm nearly through on this one just one more gentle cut and it should be through so there you go it's pulled that one away there's got me two strips i need probably for this uh for this sort of these six joints that i'm going to sort of pot and uh, yeah that's how easy it is to cut so like i said it's easily available on the internet it's a great source uh yeah it's a, just a great sort of material really and um it will never let you down so what we do now i'll sort of start cutting them up and uh we'll show you the fitting of them around the six joints we're going to put the compound in so we come on to fitting the first layer of the wax strips what i tend to do is just basically lay one up the side about a millimeter away and i'll just make a little mark i obviously don't cut them on the board so i don't want to damage the board and i'll cut them uh yeah on a sort of bit of scrap pcb laying nearby now i can sort of transfer that on it takes a little bit of maneuvering because uh, obviously it's got a sticky back Try not to uh, get my fingers in the, in the way too much. That's about right. That's about the distance you want away from the from the joints, about a millimetre. So it's got a sticky backing underneath. So um, yeah, it should sort of hold its position. So I'll go up to the other end, and just this one should butt nicely against them two capacitors that are sort of near the end. So I just tend to push that down in position. That's nicely, uh, yeah, I should get a nice board around all the joints with about that, that much distance uh, away from them. Just slide that one along slightly. So that's that one. Then it's basically a case of just doing the two side bits. Just cut one of them up. And we can just lay that in position. So they butt up really nicely, these. You can get the, the moulds really neat if, uh, yeah, it just takes a couple of minutes to sort of line them up as you can see I've got a nice gap all around the outside and that's what you want so you've got no danger of your joints sort of sticking out the sides of the mould so as you can see 
that's the first layer all uh, all fitted. Oh, you've got sort of nice butty joints all around all four. So you've got no chance of any leaks coming out. So all you do, basically just layer, put another layer on until you're above the joints, about a millimetre. And uh, yeah, then you'll be ready to put your compound in. So what I'll do, I'll sort of finish off layering these up to get the desired height. And then I'll show you how I mix the compound and, the, and fill the mould up. So um, yeah, I'll join you back at that stage. This is stage I'll just quickly mix up the compound. I've got a two part compound I'm going to do these six joints with. There's lots of different ones available depending on sort of what your needs are. Places like Farnell, RS, Rapid Online, lots of other electronic distributors. Um, yeah, depending on what you need, you know, just uh, sort of pick one that suits you. So I've got a two to one ratio on this. So I'm quickly just going to put a bit of the, uh, this is actually the hardener part. So I'm just going to quickly dispense a little. I've only got sort of one one uh, sort of connector to do, so I haven't got to do too much. So I need two parts of the other one, so I'm just going to quickly put two parts of that next to it. And then we'll get it mixed up. This one takes about 16 hours in natural air. So what I do, I'll sort of uh, get it mixed up, we'll put it in the mould and then uh, I'll return to it afterwards to show you the end results. So I'll put your mix up. Probably about 30 seconds this one's going to take. I then just sort of decant it into a syringe using the end of this uh, wooden spatula I'm using. So I don't need too much. I've only got one sort of connect or well, one sort of area to do. So yeah, I won't mix too much up. So the wax does do a really good job on all these sort of operations like this, doing any potting. And uh, yeah, I think you'll be really pleased when you see the results at the end. So it's an easy method and it won't ever let you down. All right, that's nearly mixed up. So what I'll do, I'll quickly sort of uh, spoon this into the end of a syringe and then I'll show you the, uh, the potting stage. As you can see, I've now decanted some of the mixture that I've just recently made into the syringe. Um, yeah, I put a green nozzle on for the syringe that I'm using, which has got a slightly larger opening than the pink one. If you haven't got a, sort of the next size up, you can always cut the small ones back to, to sort of suit what you're doing. Um, if you're using a slightly thicker compound um, than this self-leveling stuff that's quite sort of runny, um, all you do, if you go just above the wax, you can use any sort of kind of sort of straight edge like this, say this sort of wooden sort of stick or yeah, any sort of steel ruler and just scrape right along sort of on top of the wax one into the other you'll get an equally smooth finish as you would with the uh the self-leveling stuff so yeah you can always whatever your compound you can always get a lovely tidy finish so what we do now um i'll move straight on to filling up the mold and uh yeah we'll show you how that one goes finally we come into the stage of uh, filling the mold um this one's quite a runny compound so um yeah it's going to be self-leveling but if you've got a you know, basically a thicker one like a silicon based one or an rtv you can literally just go slightly above the wax and use a use a smooth edge like a spare bit of pcb or a wooden spatula and just scrape across the top of the wax one into the other and you get a lovely smooth finish exactly the same as this one um, it doesn't the compounds don't tend to stick to the top of the wax that's why the wax is a great material and so um, yeah you'll have no problem removing the wax after so anyway let's quickly get this filled up so because I'm using a syringe, I can get right into the corners. So yeah, I tend to just go around the edge and that fall into place down in the corners. Then we just fill up, fill up the centre. It's quite sort of see through this uh, this compound so you might think you can see the top of the pins but they will be underneath about a millimeter down from the from the top all right so nearly there just a little bit more in that corner 
this will find its way into all the gaps and the air bubbles. If there's any air bubbles, you can just sort of prick them out. Well, I think we're nearly there. So it looks like you can see the top of the joints, but I've, yeah, I promise you they are underneath. It's quite a sort of a see-through substance. So there you go, there's your mould filled up. And them sort of joints that are yeah, sort of, sort of the two joints in the middle, particularly, they're well underneath the surface. So that should, uh, yeah, that should be a good job done. So what we do now, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it 16 hours to sort of set. And then I'll return to it and uh, show you the end results and remove the wax. So I'll sort of see you at that stage. So coming to the stage now, this is the final stage. I'm just going to remove the strips from around the mould or from around the compound. So yeah, basically uh, all you should end up with is a bit of adhesive maybe stuck to the board. You can easily clean it off with PCB cleaning fluid. So basically, yeah, these come off really easy. They're adhesive backed. but So they stick to the board they pretty well. They never seem to move. You can just ease them off. You might get a bit of adhesive stuck to the PCB, like I say, but uh, it's easily removed. So I'll just do this side first. As you can see, there's a few little remnants of adhesive down the bottom, but I'll clean them off after. And so you should get a lovely result with this. Just ease this one off. So I've used this method a lot over the years. Never lets me down. It's just a great, great material to wax because, uh, say, the compounds don't tend to stick to it. So it looks so far, it's looking good. I'm going to have to switch my left hand up the other end. All so far I've got a tiny bit there, it's just leaked through the corner. This is quite a rubbery compound. But um, yeah, there's lots of different ones available. So I've got one more piece to remove and I've got no leaks at all. So all the components sort of nearby. So these capacitors up these at this end are totally protected. There's nothing gone near them at all. No flu, no uh, compound at all. Well, I'll quickly... I quickly just wipe around this so you can see the basically the basics of um what you're going to end up with. I'll take a few photos after, sort of view from the side, so you get an idea of uh, how it looks underneath. And I'll clean the other end up as well and uh, stick photos up with that. So as you can see, you've got a lovely finished result. So the joints are about a millimetre below the surface, so they're great. Let's say that's that's it. It's got that last little bit off. You've got a really, really clean finish. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy with that. And uh, so, yeah, hopefully this video's sort of uh, proved the worth of using the wax. And uh, I've also got another one done on this board, so I'll take a few photos of that as well and put them up after. So if you've sort of found this video enjoyable and uh, hopefully you've learned something, it'd be great if you could maybe like and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon with, uh, with another soldering video. Thank you for your time and sort of see you soon.